I'm Lisa from Mosomolerum. What do you do with all the waste you cut off vegetables? You know the skins and the ends and the inners and the stalks and the leaves. Do you throw it out? Put it in a compost? Or do you do something with it? Let me know in the comments if you've got any good ideas. The last few years I've started saving mine. I've got a box in the freezer that I use. We've got the ribs from kale, broccoli stalks, broccoli that have become a bit yellow, onion skins. It can all be used to make the most flavorful homemade stock cubes. And that's what we're going to make today. But before we do, can I please ask you to take a minute to subscribe to our channel? It's completely free and it would really help us get our videos out to more people. And ding that little bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos. And if nothing else, give us a like. And now, let's get started. We are Andy and Lise, a musician and an illustrator. This is where all our crazy ideas come together. Welcome to the Sur I wipe a little bit of coconut oil onto a large oven tray to prevent the veggies from sticking. This is not part of the recipe and if you're oil free, use whatever method you prefer. I'll start with the pepper and a mushroom left over from the burger recipe I used the other day. Then all the frozen bits, just as they are. I also had a fresh bag in the fridge with some cauliflower leaves, a chili that was a bit soft and some other bits. I cut anything that is thick into smaller slices. I also added a few more mushrooms, they really gives it a lot more flavour. Mix all of it in the tray. I better cut that chilli into smaller bits too. I add some garlic. I always have the smaller cloves left in the dish. I hate peeling those, so I usually grab the bigger ones for cooking. But these are perfect for stock. I also have one head of garlic which have started sprouting. That goes in too. I only take out the roots. I have a flat rock that I use to squash the garlic, just to release the flavours. Other than that, it goes in the pan, skin and all. I also add an onion. I only take off the root and outer skin that has been in contact with the soil. The rest can go in the pan. Any other raw veggies that you have left over can go in. I added half a tube of tomato paste to the pan. I then massage it into the veggies. I put it in a preheated oven at 150 degrees Celsius, that's about 300 Fahrenheit. First for half an hour before stirring. I bought this ready-cut basil and put it in water, but it wilted right away. 
If you have any suggestions as to how fresh caught herbs can last longer, please let me know in the comments. This time it's going straight in stock. Turn the veggies and give them another half hour in the oven. After another half hour, add boiling water. I used about two liters, but depending on the size of your pan, just add as much as you can without it flowing over. Then let it roast for another hour, stirring once in a while. In the meantime, measure out two tablespoons of agar agar powder, about four grams of santan gum and ten grams of salt. I did end up adding more salt in the end, but just add to your own taste. Stir it well and set it aside for later. When the veggies has roasted for about two hours, I use a baster to scoop up as much liquid as I can and put it into a saucepan. When it feels safe to carry the tray, strain the rest of the liquid into the pan. Careful, it's very hot. Then put it on the stove to heat up. When the veggies have cooled down, strain the remainder to get the last bit of liquid out of it. Add it to the saucepan and boil to reduce it down to about half the amount. This can take up to two hours. When the stock has reduced down to half, take it off the heat and whisk in the agar agar, santan gum and salt mixture. Stir well, this will thicken up a lot. For this batch, I'm trying two different methods for making cubes. Half of the stock I put into an ice cube tray and put in the freezer. The other half I just let set in the bottom of the saucepan in the fridge overnight. then 
wrap each cube in waxed paper. The jury is still out on which is the better method. Even though I like the frozen cubes uniform sizes, they were quite difficult to get out of the tray. For the chilled half, I just cut them to size and wrapped them. These were okay, but it was not easy getting them uniform in size. But does it really matter? What do you think? They're all wrapped, I store them in the freezer and take out as I need them. I use them the same way I would use a stock cube. They're great in all sorts of stews and sauces, wherever umami flavor is needed. Enjoy! Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, give us a like. Please subscribe to our channel, it's completely free. And if you hit the little bell icon, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. And remember, in a world where you can be anything,